Hi, welcome to this new episode of Let's Make Fallout 4 in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we'll be creating the health and radiation bar UI and having that being affected by our player's current radiation level and health level. So this will be using the Fallout 4 style one where it seems that the radiation actually affects the maximum health itself and decreases the bar. So I'm just going to show you the quick example I built. So here in the bottom left as you can see is my green health bar for my character and when I go get irradiated by this barrel then my radiation level increases which is the red bar and it's decreasing my health overall as you can see in the top left that is the current status of my radiation so when it gets to 100 my player will also die in this case he'll just stop moving so 19, 95, 100 you are dead and my player can no longer move okay so that's what we're going to be creating today So. In your game, there's a few things we need to do first. However, I'm going to say that if you haven't watched the previous episode in this series tutorial, then just check them out here. They'll be appearing in the top right hand corner of the screen with that little eye. This will show you how to create, import and create that radiation barrel over there. The textures and models are all offered by me for free, so just watch that, learn how to do it, download them, import them, and then you can carry on and test it from there. But that's the suggestion, anyway. First off, I'm just going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to name it UI. And in my UI folder, I'm going to add a new user interface asset, and it's going to be my widget asset. So I'm going to name this health rad widget. And I'm going to double click this to open. So right here in the center of the screen is a diagram of our screen, our user screen. And this is in the aspect ratio, as you can see here, of 16 to 9. 1280 by 720 so this will scale fine for any 16 to 9 aspect ratios resolutions all that really was there was two progress bars laid on top of each other and using a different material so that you could see both of them so I'm just gonna drag in a progress bar I'm gonna put it in the bottom left here and then I'm gonna scale it out a bit probably to about there so it takes up quite a bit of the screen but not enough that it's going to get a pain. And then I'm just going to rename this my health bar. Set its color to green, so zero in red and blue, and then one in green. Hit OK, left to right, and then Z order, I want to set that to one. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. And we'll also set its percentage to one, so we can see that. Now I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it and here's our new one so we can name this radiation bar oh, I'm just going to put rad bar and we're going to put one in the red, zero in the green and blue so that is our rad bar because it's red it's not, I won't do that again also set its bar fill type right to left so it increases from the opposite direction I'm going to set that to zero and set its Z order to zero. Now we need to get this exactly underneath our health bar. So to do that, I'm just going to go to its position here. I'm going to enter some values, 8 to 5, 9 to 70. So I'm just going to round these. And I'll also round that. And now I know to put this at 8 to 5 and 9 to 70. So 8 to 5, 9 to 70. I'm going to create a binding for the radiation bar and this is going to get the rad bar fill color and opacity and we're going to cast to our third person character our object is going to be our get player character and as third person character I want to get my F, F radiation level I want to divide this by another float and I'm going to divide it by 100 and that's going to be, to be my return value because my radiation level goes 0 to 100 so this uses percentage as 0 to 1 so obviously divided by 100 I get my percentage if the cast fails and the more recent blueprints are a bit more picky with this you need to set another return value so my return value here will be 0 I'll promote it to a local variable, which I will give a float. 
and I'll give it the value of 0 because we don't want it to actually have any opacity because if you can't cast to it then we'll presume they have no radiation and we'll call this our return nothing variable name now at the moment that's not going to show up because obviously our health bar will always be at 100 as it's not been affected by our player's health because our player doesn't have any health in the last episode all we did was make our radiation level because that's all we needed to get affected by that radioactive barrel so we'll go back to our third person character blueprints and we'll just add some variables here so I'm going to name this F player health or if you have your own variable naming schemes use those mine stands for F float player health because it's my player's health um, I might set that to player current health and then I'm going to create another one F player max health because our max health will be decreased by the radiation but also our player can have less health than its maximum health you know if he's getting shot at then he's going to have less health than 100% and if he's getting irradiated he's an unlucky guy but also his maximum health is going to decrease because of that radiation so we need to have all these stored in our increase radiation level which is a function we also made in the past video so really go back and watch those past videos if you haven't so I'm going to move these out of the way and what we're going to say is after our radiation level has increased then we want to set our maximum health and what we want to set our maximum health to is we want to set it to 100 because that's what I'm using as the maximum health at minute you might have a way to calculate that yourself but I'm just going to think of it as percentage using 100 minus our new radiation level so I'm just going to get that from there just to make sure and that's our new player health now after that we need to check did the player already have their previous maximum health so we're going to use branch and what we're going to check is we're going to get a float greater than float and we're going to check if our player's current health is greater than our maximum health because if the player had 100% health and then start getting irradiated our maximum health will now be decreased but their current health won't so they'll have more health than they should be able to have okay so if that's true then all we need to do is set our current health to our maximum health so I can just plug that in there and then we just need to check this branch again which checks if they've got radiation poisoning and if it's false we're also going to check if they have radiation poisoning and for the health what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to check if this is greater than or equal to 100 and if this is greater than or equal to 100 print a string saying you are dead and disable input disable movement so we're just going to stop this character from moving because they're dead and that's our debugging purpose there that's just killing the player so now we can go back to our UI and we can set up our health widget so our health bar we can create a new binding and it's just the exact same as the other one cast a third person character using our player character but instead of getting our radiation level we're gonna get player current health level as the last one we're gonna divide that by another float which will be a hundred and we'll use that otherwise we want to return and the value we want to return is promote to a local variable so we would just want rid of it when we're done with it we don't want to permanently store this so it'll be our return nothing health and we're going to change that to a float and it's going to have a value of zero plug that in there and it'll convert it for us so now our health and our radiation bars will increase and decrease accordingly now we just need to set them up so in our blueprints folder we go to our third person game mode just open the blueprint and we want to get event begin play so when the game starts create our widget so get create widget using our health and radiation widget and then we're just going to add these to the viewport 
Okay, so I seem to have used the wrong widget here. We've gone for appearance, so we'll just remove that binding. Radiation bar, we do it again. So we can remove that binding, and then we can just keep the bindings we have, but what we do is we go to percent, we create a binding, but as you can see, we can get these here. So this is for my radiation bar. So I can just double click that one we made over here, control C, and then just control V, and it'll paste all that code we previously made. And then we don't need this local variable, and instead we can just use that return value of zero. Now we can delete our radiation bar function of the fill one. And then we go back to designer, go health bar percent create binding. Get our health fill color one. That's the same as last time. Control C, Control V into our health bar percentage. Delete that return node. Plug these in and set this return value to zero. And we can get rid of that health bar fill color and opacity. Now when we play, as you can see, our health bar is there. So now we need to go back to our current health in our third person character and just give these variables a default value of 100 so when we play we have our full health bar and then when we get, get irradiated as you can see that begins to decrease because our maximum health if you remember is being affected by our radiation level but we can't see our radiation level it's there it's, de it's affecting our health but it's not showing up and this is because by default our sliders here have a grey background and you can't get rid of this background by just setting it as an alpha. What you have to do is create a material. So we'll do that as well. So in our UI folder, I'll create a new material and I'm just going to name this alpha transparent UI. And the great thing about this is obviously it can be used for any UI element. So in our material domain, we can set it to user interface and it's gotten rid of everything we need except these and we change its blend mode to translucent hold S and left click to get our scalar parameter leave it as a default value of zero and just give it a name of opacity and hit apply this just means it's see-through it has no opacity whatsoever and in our health bar you go to style background image and instead of getting an image, we're just going to use our new material we made, Alpha Transparent UI. Now, depending on what you've named it, you may have to search for it in that material bar. Mine is right at the top due to it being A. So now we compile, we play, and when we go get radiated, our red bar shows up. And now our radiation level is affecting our health level in both a variable way and actually on screen so the player can get real-time feedback at the moment. So that is a very simple way to get the radiation level to affect your maximum health and output this on the screen using two overlapping UI elements. I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did, give it a thumbs down if you didn't, if your opinions are otherwise, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, leave it in the comments down below. Look forward to the next episode which will be coming out soon where we'll be creating a stealth boy material for our character. So I hope to see you then. If you're wondering what to watch next, I recommend these two videos down below. On the left we have the first episode in the Let's Make Fallout 4 in Unreal Engine 4 episode where we'll be importing and creating the materials for the radioactive barrel as seen in this example as well, where I will also offer the models and textures free to use for whatever reason. So check that out if you haven't previously, or if you're looking for something a little bit different but like a cool feature to add to your game then check out the video on the right where we'll be creating a night vision goggles in Unreal Engine 4 from the inspiration of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain where we'll be using post-processing effects and material changes to create the overall effect and it's pretty cool so you can check that out as well. And as always if you want to see more from me then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.